Hey guys, welcome back. So recently I got a request from one of you guys on Twitter to make a video about the Arbitus armor and specifically the history of it. So today that's what we're going to be doing. So if you enjoy, a like goes a very long way as always, along with a comment telling me your favorite iteration of the Arbitus armor. So the main or I guess you could call it default Arbiter armor is the one that we see in Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary. The design is inspired by centuries-old pre-covenant aesthetics and is composed of a silvery metal covered in really intricate engravings to represent the ceremonial status and nature of an Arbiter. It also includes pretty standard Sangheili armor features, a heads-up display, energy shielding and also active camouflage, although this is notably worse than the other Sangheili combat harnesses, given that it's much older. The armour itself more resembles medieval human armour than the futuristic look of regular harnesses, choosing to leave the shininess and neon lights behind, which further bolsters its ceremonial nature. The Arbiter's armour in general is rarely passed on to a following Arbiter, even if the prophets did suggest otherwise, for really obvious reasons. The whole nature and idea of becoming the Arbiter is that you're sent on these dangerous, perilous and often suicidal missions, and you really aren't expected to return. Even if you did return, the chances are your armour is pretty fucked up and damaged to the point where a new set may as well just be made for the next Arbiter. The suits of deceased Arbiters are kept in the mausoleum of the Arbiter, home to this infamous scene from Halo 2. What would you have your Arbiter do? The Arbiter's armor is seemingly able to be customized. Obviously, each Arbiter isn't exactly the same height or body proportions as the recent one, so the suits are custom made to fit their body shape, as was the case for Ripper Moromi, who was a total of three inches taller than Thel. Thel's armor also changed between Halo 2 and Halo 3, or in-universe, before and after the Great Schism. His active camo saw a much needed upgrade, making it infinite like other combat harnesses, while also having a flashlight attached to his upper left shoulder and also gaining mandible guards to protect those precious, precious mandibles. Fal Shavami, an Arbiter long before the Human Covenant War in the 22nd century, I believe, had his armour coloured gold, with more ceremonial details on the chest. This could have been a design in old Arbiter armours that was just phased out over time, or maybe even a personal design of his. There are also occasions where an Arbiter's armour was drastically updated and modified. The only known case, within the Covenant at least, of this happening was for the Arbiter who tamed the Lek Golo. This Arbiter travelled to the homeworld of the Hunterworms, Tay, and likely due to its extremely high gravity and deep crevices, modified his armour into an ancient ranger harness, complete with a jetpack. This armour bears the most similarity to the Halo 2 ranger harness, with similarities in the jetpack and helmet having them incorporated into the original ceremonial design. The biggest modification of the armour, however, comes from Mr. Thelvadam himself. After the Human Covenant War and his full separation from the Covenant, he adopted a totally new armour design, inspired by the Kaidans of Sanghelios' armour sets. Going under the pseudonym of the Kaiden Arbiter Harness, it was built with homage to the past Arbiters in mind, while also to symbolise his role as the new leader of the Elites and the Kaiden of Vadam. For the record, being a Kaiden essentially means that you're the head of a Sangheili state, hence why Thel is the Kaiden of his home state, Vadam. The armour itself retains some of the similarities to the original Arbiter armour, but takes much inspiration, specifically in its colouring, from the traditional Kaiden armours. During peace talks with humanity and the Brutes, Thel wore a cape with the armour that looked really fucking badass, Sadly, he didn't wear this cape in Halo 5, and it's unknown what its meaning is. 
Maybe it's only worn during political events, or something along those lines, but either way, I want to see him wearing that cape with the Halo 5 armor and Halo 2 anniversary body design in Halo 6 more than you can imagine. That cape is fucking badass. And that's going to do it for the Arbiter's armor. It's a pretty short video, sorry about that, but I've also got another video coming out tomorrow, and I'm also working on a art style video in the background which is taking up quite a lot of time, and I can assure you that video will be as iconic as ever and definitely worth the wait. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you tomorrow.